Recently, 12 new moons were discovered orbiting Jupiter, bringing the total up to 79. As a middle child myself, I'd like to extend my sympathies to moons 2 through 78. Your grandpa will never learn your name. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this journey through the stars. <laughs> if you enjoyed this lecture, please come back Thursday for the exact same one. Do I look like I just woke up? No. Great, I'm gonna go say hey to Raj. What are you guys giggling about? You're passing notes to each other. Oh, love notes? If you love math. And we do. It's for our super asymmetry theory. Now, Amy and I have been having so much fun collaborating together. No, you know what they say, you never collaborate as much as your first year of marriage. Hey, great show. Thanks. Oh, Howard, uh, this is Andrea. She's the director of the planetarium. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Howard Wallowitz, engineer, husband, father, <laughs> astronaut. Really, you're an astronaut? Well, I don't like to brag. <laughs> yeah, but somehow you'll manage. <laughs> Raj, you should have Howard join you for one of your shows. Oh, that might be fun. Well, it might be, but with two small children at home and a full-time job, I'm sure no. you're too busy. No, I could find the time. Well, you don't have to decide right now. It's okay. Well, he I can't can... do it. Hey, hurry up, guys. The gift shop's closing, and Amy said I can get one big thing or two little things. So I'm going to place this sensory isolation helmet on you for about five minutes. All you need to do is sit still and relax. What do I do if I start to get claustrophobic? Oh, the helmet will sense that and stop the experiment. Really? No, but that'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> Amy, are you busy? I've got a subject wired up for a sensory study. So? Yes, I'm busy. I'm tracking a subject's brain activity in real time as we introduce olfactory stimuli. I'm smelling baby powder. That's just my husband. <laughs> Well, I had a thought about our super asymmetry theory. Let me show you this one thing. Well, I want to see it, but not when I'm in the middle of an experiment. Still baby powder! Well, he is annoying. Do any of those buttons shock him? Look, I'm really excited about our paper, too, but I've got a lot of my own work to catch up on, so let's talk later. Okay, well, let me just say one more thing. Lambda calculus. And if that wets your whistle, you know where to find me. You okay? You seem distracted. I'm just thinking about Raj. And I'm thinking about Chris Hemsworth. Let's go. <laughs> it sort of hurt my feelings. Biceps, hammer, abs. Still in it. Why wouldn't he want me to be in his planetarium show? And it's gone. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the director of the planetarium thought it'd be fun for me to join Raj for one of his shows, and he made it clear that he didn't want me to. Of course he wouldn't want you to. I mean, think about it. If you were him, would you want to share the stage with a sexy-ass astronaut? <laughs> I don't know. How sexy are we talking? Oh, you know. Tight pants, huge biceps, magic hammer. <laughs> Wait, who are we talking about? I'm back about? in it. 